Hello and welcome back to the Mountain Valley Refuge. Today we are tackling this cupboard. Now the cupboard under the sink is very important. We store some very important things in here. It's got two really big, long and deep shelves. And so that makes for putting things away that you don't really want to bend down and get all too often. And you can fit a lot in here. And so it's a great cupboard to use. It's good to know what's in the back though, because like with all cupboards, we're using whatever is in the front the most. So hang out with me while I quickly unpack all of this, see what I've got, and then we'll get everything back in and I'll sort it and I'll explain to you the decisions that I've made and how that has worked for us so far. Before we get started, I should tell you that I have had great success with this cupboard. I feel like it has served its purpose. The way that it is arranged right now works for our family. I'm able to grab these mixing bowls and things down here really easily. I'm able to get the cleaning supplies that we need and garbage bags and so on. So the setup really works and I'm excited to walk you through kind of this decision making and the way I've laid it out and hopefully that can help you. But let me get into just tidying it up first and then we can talk about it because like all things, it's gotten a little messy over the past couple of months. <laughs> now, now this cupboard has gotten primarily messy because while we're getting new things and then we're just putting them in where they were not really a part of the original plan and setup of this cupboard and so the original stuff that was in here worked really well but adding new things kind of just throws it off a little bit so that's something to keep in mind going into this cupboard now is that sometimes we are just adding things to a cupboard you know life is not static it's ever changing and so sometimes we get new things that need to be stored somewhere and sometimes it's stored here um, so this, this cupboard almost needs to be um, ready to change on a whim as well and receive new things. I almost bought some of these this week. It was on my list to buy and here we have some. These go in our green waste bin and uh, keep some of the smell in there. And I still have two. Good to unpack. Somebody gave these um, skewers to us for barbecuing and honestly, probably one day in my life I'll use something like this, but I'm not going to hold on to it until I use it one day, so I'm going to get rid of that. We made sushi honestly once and I'm grateful that I know how to do it now, but what are the chances I'm going to make it again? I'm not sure. You know, we store things that we use now and then or once in a blue moon which is so interesting because you know we don't want to go buy it every time we want to do it once in a blue moon but you know they're just sitting in a cupboard <laughs> um, I thought about that similarly for this tool it's nice when you're frying things but we don't use it that often although we use it more than we use these mats so probably worthwhile keeping I was keeping all kinds of miscellaneous baking things in here. Um, the cutouts, a piping bag, or two or three. <laughs> but I see there's even a chicken rotisserie thing in here, which honestly we don't use. I'm gonna put the things we don't use aside. I just pop a chicken in into the oven and cook it. <laughs> I don't uh, put it on a rotisserie set up like this. So here's a box and I'm going to get rid of it. Sorry, 
my apologies. It's a chicken roaster. And you can put a beer can is what it looks like in the center of it and stuff it all nice. I mean, it looks amazing and I'm sure it works fantastic, but just, yeah. I don't know if I've said that on here before, but we could have so many kitchen gadgets. You know, a gadget for this, a gadget for that. Kind of like what I'm saying about these sushi mats, you know, a gadget for everything, even this, you know? And sure, they can make our lives better, and if you use it often, totally worthwhile. But if you end up with like 50 gadgets of things for something, you gotta think, man, that is intense. <laughs> that needs to be stored somewhere. So is that worth it? I don't know. I don't know. For me, no. No, it isn't. All right. We're almost done here. Like I said, this bottom cupboard was kind of an overflow of baking things, which I keep in this. Um, Oops, metal container. And then I've got a whole stack of pans and cake tins here. Which actually when I bake I use often and it is a mission to get it out of here. So I think maybe this is not the best place for this to go. I think I I think I have another idea. Let's so put that up here for now. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of room, maybe right there. So this is all the stuff I unpacked from this cupboard. As you can see, it's quite deep, lots of room in there. All I've got back here are some light bulbs in those boxes and then two Ziploc bag uh, boxes, um, an extra roll of garbage bags, and Lysol wipes on the left there. This is all the stuff. I'm going to strategically pack it back. What I really like about organizing is things that can stack into each other. For example, those mixing bowls, uh, these two kind of, um, what are these called? Sift and um, scooping thing <laughs> for, for bigger paint and fat. Yeah, I like that because it just saves a lot of room. We've also got some plastic containers, which I keep in there, and then these plastic jugs, um, just because you always need a jug handy very easily. So, a few things to get back in here with minimal cleaning supplies here. I keep the bowl in a different spot in our um, hallway. But anyway, let's get to cleaning this cupboard and getting all this stuff back in there. I really like having this easy to grab jugs right here. So I think the most effective way to do this is to pack out the things that you use most and are going to be reaching for more than things that would go in the back. So I've got my bowls here, like I've probably said a million times already. We use these very often, so I want them right in the front. I just pull out, get to the right size, push it back in. Very easy, same here. Then we do grab garbage cans often because, you know, we take our garbage out and everyone. So it's nice to have this just right here. I don't have to reach in. Very easy. We wash dishes in our dishwasher and so to have these pods here handy 
is important. And then I do like having this um, right here. I use jugs of water for all kinds of things like watering the plants, feeding sourdough, so on. So it's nice to have that easy to pull out right in front. So I've tucked away a, a giant container of Nelly's um, mop solution. So because the chances of us pulling this out is slim, although we, we do use a lot of it. I keep it in a jar like this because it's just easier to um, handle than this big thing, which actually spills so easily. So silly. Anyway, I can tuck away the uh, big thing of soap and rather keep this close by. I've actually got a bunch of clean stuff right here that I'm gonna start putting onto this shelf, but I, I just want to point out to you that it may be easy to put to start by putting the things that you use off and right in the front so you can sort of see how um, that is set up and then work everything else that you need to put away around that. So let's continue. Now I have a whole bunch of little miscellaneous cleaning things like scrubbers, a toothbrush, looks like Mr. Clean stuff. Whew, it all smells way too intense. Anyway, I don't know what our future holds with cleaning supplies. Obviously, we're trying to use as many natural products as possible, but I'm going to use these things up, including Mr. Mr. Clean's. Is it wall wiper or something? I guess it's everything. We use it primarily to wipe off our walls, and so we gotta do that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna use this container because it's quite handy, just to uh, store some excess um, scrubbers, steel wool, again that toothbrush, and then I have some, um, just some cleaning gloves. You know, you never know. Hold them in here, and that way they're kind of stored away. Honestly, we really rarely ever use it, but at least it's here if the case comes and we need it. I probably don't need two pairs, but oh why not <laughs> for the moment. I, uh, I have this probably a bit nostalgic about this pair because I used it in art school while I was doing uh, screen printing. And then this is clearly for washing dishes, so let's just leave this for now and I'm going to tuck it. Um, behind this garbage here, uh, sorry, garbage bags. Sideways is probably better. That way they're all kind of in one spot, but they're, you know, not the first thing that I'm not using that often. They're sort of hidden. On top of the um, garbage bags here, I'm putting these, these are garden supplies. I think this is, um, I'm trying to remember what this is now. It's a black solution. Oh, is it seaweed? Something seaweed to feed the plants, which will feed our tomatoes and pepper plants here pretty soon with that and then I can really get rid of it. Here is some more plant food that I um, treat our house plants with. Now it's getting all kinds of crusty and yucky and I actually don't want it sitting on this. Although there is a, um, a layer in between here to protect the cupboards, it's just gross. <laughs> and so I'm going to store it on top of this because this just spins anyway when I pull out the garbage bag, so that's fairly easy. There's some old rags in here, which honestly I'm not going to use again, so I'm going to get rid of those. A random extra glove. Some paper plates that are all dirty. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need to keep the lid for that storage container. These I'm going to donate. So I'll put that with the rotisserie chicken stuff. So 
Ziploc bags. They are fresh and clean. So I'm gonna just store them here beside the boxes I have down here. Ziploc bags, I'm so thankful for them, but the boxes just end up getting wrecked so easily. It's quite frustrating. Anyway, they're just gonna have to hold down here until I find a better solution. I know it's actually probably the best to keep them in those drawers that you can just pull out and they're laying flat, unobstructed by stuff, but all of those drawers I'm using for other things that I think are more important than the blood bags. I also have more extra uh, scrubbers like this one, and then um, I love these so much. Pot scrapers, if you don't have one of these, man, you're missing out on life. This makes it so easy, it's like a little credit card almost that you can scrape, you could also use a credit card. But this just gets so thin on the edge there, it really gets the grime off. That's an extra, so I'm going to store that in our little container there as well. I have some extra brushes, honestly we don't really use this, I'm going to get rid of that. Another candle <laughs> base, which if you've watched some of my other videos, or maybe it'll still come out about cleaning our little miscellaneous drawer. I had lots of these. I really like candles and uh, I actually keep the nibs because well I'm used to adding them to fires if we go camping for example and um, just keeping the fire going for a while either at the beginning when you're trying to light it or uh, while the fire is going this is really great ammunition so but I have heaps of it, so I'm going to get rid of this one. <laughs> and then there's another kind of scrubbing thing. I think it came with a water bottle. Great mechanism. Could be very useful. I just don't really use things like this. So I'm going to get rid of that. And all that I have left here are... Um, big Tupperware like this and then a whole bunch of lids for either um, these bowls, some of these even, and um, they're just too big to go in our Tupperware, uh, our Tupperware drawer. If you haven't seen it, maybe it hasn't come out yet, but uh, I also made a video about cleaning our Tupperware drawer. If you're interested in that, I will link it below here or check out where it's coming up. <laughs> um, but we have, basically it's just um, smaller Tupperware in there smaller than this anyway and so these guys I like to just keep on the each side here if I've got them tucked in like this I'll give you a better view in a minute um, they're not going anywhere they're not obstructing me using this space so they may as well just rest to the side there now I've got all this open space in the back so I may just pop one of these back there that way I know if I need a big plastic container this is the place to get it and I got two more in the fridge that uh, is holding sourdough discard. So this may be their new home just back there. Hmm. I think that's a good idea. Alright, this is something I don't want to get rid of. It is the lid for this jug. Although I don't store it that way because then I can store this in there. I don't want to get rid of it just in case one day maybe I do decide to make lemonade or something to stand outside and then we want to have it covered. So this is like such a miscellaneous little Tupperware thing. <laughs> Definitely no room for it in my Tupperware drawer. So I'm just going to store it back here in this cupboard that I'll never almost consult the very back of. So that's a good place for that to live. I have some more of these. Uh, container lids that I could pop on the side here. I don't know that I have a container for this. I don't think I do. I can go. And the rest all look familiar. Alright, so the only things I'm not super pleased with, I don't know if this is the best place for them, are these tools. Unless I move the Ziploc bags and these go there, I don't know where these should go. These could probably go with the baking. That makes sense. Put this with the baking stuff in their new drawer where they're going to live. These guys, I will just... Oh. It's just this and these 
sushi roll mats. I gotta pack away still, and I think they're just gonna have to live in this open back area because sometimes there are miscellaneous things that just don't have a spot other than in the back of a cupboard. And when we do need them, we can reach for them. This I actually don't use because I don't have it close by, so hold on. Sushi mats are with the miscellaneous jug lid thing. These I need to find a good spot for. Hmm. Hold off on these for a minute. Let me let me get going on. Yeah. Let me get another angle and see if I can see a good spot for this to go. Maybe just right here is a good spot. But this will obstruct me pulling these out often now. Hmm. Maybe the zip locks are gonna find a new home. No. I think so. I think the zip locks can go in a different cupboard, and I'm gonna just store these on the side instead. I'm going to refill my compost lid with this black charcoal thingy and store, and store the other one right behind this garbage can so I can still spot it uh, and I forget I have it. And I think that's it for this cupboard. I'm going to clean up the floor, whatever we're throwing out here, and then give you the final tour. Let's see what it looks like now. So when I open these cupboards, not all too different, just a bit neater. Lots of things in the back now gone. All we've got are these um, easy to pull out containers here. Um, back there I'll store some of my Tupperware that's just too large for our Tupperware drawer. I've got some lids for these um, containers and some other a big Tupperware here, like our bread making thing, bucket. <laughs> and then back there I've got miscellaneous items that we don't use often at all. These guys here we use sometimes, and so now they're in easy reach right over here on the side. So everything in the front he uses very often. Whew, the sun is bright. Then over here I've got all the cleaning stuff we reach for often. I've got our dishwasher pods, Nellie's mop, uh, soda, or not soda, what do you call that? Um, Nellie's Mop Cleaning Soap. This is for if you've got a glass top stove. Um, all purpose cleaner, which is just lemon juice and vinegar. I've got um, just normal um, dish soap right here, more stainless, more glass top cleaner, and then um, I think this is also for the dishwasher. Yeah, some kind of rinse solution. On the side here, I've got our garbage cans, which are easy to reach. It just spins like this. And some gardening, feeding of the plant stuff on top, which are gonna be used up very soon here. I just don't want it sitting on, directly on the counter. I've got, um, there is that container with the easy to reach now, um, extra scrubbies. Um, gloves and so on. Back there is just extra um, garbage bags, Lysol wipes, Ziploc bags. Now if I pull this out very easily, I can actually see it from the front so it's never hidden to me. The blue lid I know is more garden, um, garden related things. So that's an easy reach and then the Nelly's mop solution stuff back there. And then very easy to pull out my um, jugs if I need to fill anything up really fast. So, yay for an organized 
under the sink cupboard. Now the final thing I want to say about a sink uh, cupboard or under the sink cupboard is that you do not need fancy solutions. I think there's all kinds of gadgets being sold to us like pull out this cupboard and you'll be able to see everything or put baskets and things and you know sure I did use a container here to store a bunch of small trinkets but sometimes just there could be too so much excess um, gear or systems which are really all excess and can cause a lot of um, space being misused in your cupboard and that's one thing and the other thing is we also have too many things sometimes and so do just shrink it down to the things that you use often like if you haven't used it in the past year are you gonna use it <laughs> you know be tough with yourself and there's no point in hanging on to things that you think you may use once in a blue moon I know I'm keeping those sushi mats and I am keeping that lid for one of my jugs sure you know maybe there is some allowance for how much of that we can keep but really don't leave just a bunch of stuff in the back of your cupboard that you're maybe going to use and then maybe never going to use. That's a bit silly. Rather, it is lovely to know that there are not things back there that I'm not seeing, that I'm not using. I can easily spot the things in front. It's been set up that way. There's some extra things stored in the back on this top, on this top shelf, which is just extras to the things that are in the front. So. Uh, all in all, no extra systems, no extra things, gadgets to make this better. I'm merely using either stacking tools for the um, stuff itself or just getting rid of it. So that's my take on it. Well, thank you for hanging out with me while I fix up our uh, cabinet here under our sink. If you found this helpful or it inspired you in some way, would you please consider liking this video? That'll really help our channel. And if you like content like this, stick around because I'm posting a couple of videos as I work through our kitchen and how we get things organized before our baby arrives later this year. So if that is interesting to you, please stick around. And you can usually find me here in the kitchen cooking and cleaning uh, or out in the garden growing some of our own food. That is something we're really passionate about is becoming uh, self-sustainable in some of our food, at least as much of it that we can grow ourselves, getting involved in the processes and reaping the benefits of experiencing these things ourselves and uh, learning about them. So if that's interesting to you, please stick around, subscribe. We'd love to have you stick around and catch some of our upcoming content. Okay, see ya, bye.